per tam sample. So, Cam, that's that's a UCF offense that put up 798 yards last week against <laughs> against Memphis. You knew it was going to be a tough challenge. Just how frustrating was it? Just not being able to get stops against them for most of the game. Yeah, you know, um, regardless of who we play, when you can't get stopped, it's frustrating as a defense, especially when you get them backed up behind the sticks. And, you know, we had several third and longs, uh, one fourth and long that we gave up. And, you know, that's just unacceptable as a defense, and we just got to work to correct that. First two possessions, you guys were pretty good. You held them to a field goal, and you came up with a big sack on, on fourth down. Did you, feel, <laughs> did you feel pretty good at that point? And what, and what changed after that? Um, yeah, you know, I, I feel like the energy was high for our side run, but um, this is that was a very good team. We played in a good league, so I mean, you can't win a game in the first quarter. It's a four quarter game, so I mean, you just gotta stay locked in and have that same motivation and play hard for four quarters in this league. You guys went to a different scheme with a three man rush. You, you practiced it all week, but was this was it a, did you have a hard time? It, it's something you hadn't done a whole lot before. Did you guys have a hard time kind of getting the kinks out during the game? Um. I want to say getting kinked out. I mean, we knew it was a difficult task rushing three on five with the running back coming in at six. Um, we, we knew it was going to be a tough thing. The main thing was to just keep fighting. You know, it was going to be times he was going to hold the ball and we just had to hit home. So, I mean, we knew it was going to be difficult coming in, and it's just a hard thing to do. We just, I feel like there's some plays we left out there. We could have got back there and didn't, and that's, that's just on us. I think early in the third quarter, you guys went back to your normal defense. Did you feel more comfortable in, in, in that or pretty much the same? <laughs> um. I mean, I feel like it wasn't a comfort thing. I feel like it just put other guys in better positions to be able to rush, and it, it kind of changed their blocking scheme with four down linemen instead of three. So I think it just helped out with matchups, and and yeah, that, that's pretty much it. How important do you feel like was that possession right before the first half ended? Because you, you offense was getting the ball to start the third quarter, um, and they were able to get that touchdown with five seconds left to really kind of get a big separation. Yeah, whenever, you know, your team has an opportunity to come out with the ball at the halftime, it's, you know, pretty big to get a stop that can swing a lot of momentum. So, I mean, that's just something we wish we could have accomplished and tried to move forward. It's, it's a recurring theme of the, the third and fourth and long plays. Just how, do you, how are you going to get the fourth and 12 today? How, what can you guys do to get that fixed? Um, I'm not exactly sure what happened on it. I mean, we'll dissect the film, learn from it, figure out what the problem is, and make it not a recurring theme. And you still got five games left in the season. Just you're a veteran senior leader. How do you make sure guys keep their heads up and, and, and focused? Um, you know, we're, as you said, we're a senior led team. You know, I thought we have the right guys as seniors and leaders on this team. And that starts with Coach Fritz, his mindset. You know, we'll come in, watch this film on Sunday or Monday, flush it down the tone and get ready to um, go 1 0 every week going forward for these last five games. Not you in particular, but do you, have you, do you see? See guys' confidence lagging a little bit when a team is just moving up and down the field against you like that? Is it, is it hard to guard against that at some point? I mean, it's definitely frustrating, but like I said, we're um, we're a very, you know, senior-led team. We have good motivation start from Coach Ritz coming down, so, you know, we're good to pick up guys if they make it down and just keep fighting for four quarters. Hey, thanks for taking the time. I really appreciate it. No problem. Thank you.